I think of Jim Lorimer. And I think about um, Columbus in, say, 1950. We were a quarter of a million people and I think had very rightfully earned the nickname Cowtown. <laughs> we are not that Columbus anymore. And in large part, it's because of incredible leaders like Jim that dared to dream and had a vision for Columbus. We just hosted in August the American Society of Association Executives. It's coined the uh, Super Bowl of conferences and conventions. It will earn this community over $500 million of realized economic impact over the next decade. And I think about Jim Lorimer. We would have never contemplated that. Did you know that the Arnold uh, Sports Expo, of course, the first weekend in March every year uh, for decades, um, that there are more people that come to Columbus from foreign countries than are represented in the Olympics? Sounds like a place for a great international city to continue its trajectory. You, did you know that there are more female competitors than male? The Honored Sports Expo, I think for the last three years, uh, the key vision of Jim's. You know, Jim Lorimer believed in Columbus before we believed in ourselves. And in large part, the great success we've had of becoming a national city with international aspirations is because of his vision. He taught a boy from Austria to fall in love with Columbus. And someone who committed to both me and former Mayor Coleman that the Arnold will never leave uh, Columbus because of Jim and his incredible leadership. So friends, it is uh, with great honor I introduce Bob Lorimer who will tell us a little bit more about why his father is our fourth inductee tonight. Please welcome Bob Lorimer. Good evening. Good, evening. Good evening. My father grew up in what's called the greatest generation. He has lived through the Great Depression, a war war, and 16 presidents. At 93, he still comes to work 365 days a year. His passion is his purpose. He exuberates passion in everything he does. He is very understanding and has tons of empathy for others. At 93, he has still outlived everyone he has known from high school to college. He loves to say, wherever I go, it's my class reunion. <laughs> my father is loyal to a fault. He values loyalty over profit or proficiency. He is always there for everyone, and he trusts everyone he meets. He is there for advice or just to listen. He has had a very positive effect in some way on every person he has ever met. My father is a very well-read person on most subjects. One of, his, one of Shakespeare's quotes he lives by is the greatest joy is in the doing. But dad says for us, life is simple. You get out of life directly what you put in. He has worked out vigorously his whole life. He founded the first nationwide corporate fitness center, pioneering corporate fitness centers worldwide. His mottos are, you need to use your brain and your physical body or you, it will not work. So use it or lose it. <laughs> and second, he says, always strive 
do better than your previous best. His best friend in life is Arnold Schwarzenegger. When you ask Arnold what his secrets of life are, he will tell you, sleep faster, you can't get ahead in bed. <laughs> Give back, no one man stands alone. It takes a team to be strong. And get off the couch and exercise. My father has practiced these prim principles his whole life too, and it's remarkable how close my father and Arnold are in their beliefs and it is no surprise why they are best friends. What matters most in life when you look back at 93 years of age and you can say, I have no regrets. Dad is even prepared for his own death, so much that he has already installed his own tombstone. On it, it says, I'm not afraid to die I just don't want to be there when it happens. <laughs> what is most amazing to me is my father could have been inducted into the Hall of Fame four times over for his lifetime of achievements for the founding of the Ohio Girls Track Club and its pioneering a promotion of women's sports and the Title IX movement. For his incredible 38 years career in government relations at Nationwide Insurance. For a career in public service, including 52 years as mayor or vice mayor of the city of Worthington. and for the creation of the Arnold Sports Festival, now the largest multi-sport festival in the world and on six continents. But loyalty is his number one priority. He has been loyal to his family, friends, and the city of Columbus, Ohio for the past 60 years. They say greatness comes from the legacy you leave but my humble opinion, he deserves to be on the wall amongst these other great citizens of Columbus that have been honored over the years and for those that are being honored here tonight. I encourage you to reach out and say hello to Jim Larmer. You won't be impressed, just like all those that have had the privilege of knowing him. But to me, it's an even greater privilege, and that is to call him my father. Congratulations to all the great inductees here tonight and best wishes from the entire Lorimer family. Now please give a great uh, and, congrat and please give a warm welcome to my father, James Jasper Lorimer. I think I should stop right there. Bob did a great job. <laughs> I can't top it. But you should know that he just got off a plane two hours ago, coming from Dubai. He had been in Dubai for the last week. And he is setting the stage for an Arnold Sports Festival presentation in that nation. And all of our international events are headquartered here in Columbus. I first want to thank Mayor Ginther and his staff for this special honor and recognition. There was no greater good fortune in my life than upon joining Nationwide Insurance in the late 1950s to have that great community-focused company offer me a home office opportunity in Columbus, Ohio. Having had some experience 
living elsewhere in my service and FBI background. Now, three generations of my family have learned that we live in the one of the greatest cities anywhere in the world. Columbus is, across the board, a great living and life-loving experience. I want to take this opportunity to recognize and express my sincere gratitude for the fact that Columbus and its great leadership have encouraged and supported the annual hosting of the Arnold Sports Festival, which has now become the largest multi-sport event in our nation. Over five decades of growth, we now have 22,000 athletes competing in more than 80 different sports and events. Athletes and visitors from every state and from 70 nations visit and enjoy Columbus. Some 200 sports leaders, a huge medical team, great law enforcement support, logistical support for over 100,000 visitors combine each year to make the sports festival possible and an important sports-focused attraction for our city. While individual recognition is not possible, we have had for five decades a series of top leaders multi-term mayors who have been most supportive in marshalling the resources and providing hands-on leadership. The last two decades of substantial growth of the Arnold Sports Festival have been significantly advantaged by the special mayoral interest of Mayors Michael Coleman and Mayor Andrew Ginther. We thank them and their predecessors for their great leadership and support. My sports promotion pathway began 60 years ago. It was motivated by my concern that on the international sports competitive stage, the lack of sports opportunity for women was resulting in our U.S. Olympic sports teams not performing well. Through a story of some length, I formed an Ohio Track Club girls team that became a national championship team. That led to the promotion of national championships in track and field, and later to sports promotions in weightlifting and bodybuilding. These latter promotions resulted in my partnership with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And that partnership has led to the scope of this Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus, as well as to expansion on five continents. Arnold, the latest movie, I will give him a plug, starts, starts tomorrow in this town. Friday is called Dark Terminator Dark Faith. It's the sixth, sixth Terminator movie. And uh, as you may have heard too, Arnold had to move out of his house the last two days in his neighborhood where LeBron James also lives. They both had to move out of their homes because of the fire. The fact is that witnessing <clears throat> how meaningful the opportunity to compete in sports has been to the lives of the Ohio Track Club girls team motivated me to continue in the field of sports promotion. The lessons of sports are many. You learn that you get back out of all aspects of life in direct proportion 
to what you put in. Several members of the Ohio Track Club girls team are here this evening. We started 60 years ago with 12 girls, and we recently had the 60th anniversary of that team. But all of these women, pre-Title IX, were graduated from college. There were six master's degrees, three PhDs, and one Harvard Law School graduate. From the Ohio Track Club, and I want to ask the Ohio Track Club girls, I think they're sitting over here in my group there, if they would just stand and be recognized, please. From the Ohio Track Club to the Arnold Sports Festival, again, has made a tremendous difference in the lives now of thousands of people who are participating from around the country. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is Halloween. And this has special meaning for my family. At a high school football team Halloween party 78 years ago, we played a game called Wink. The boys sat in a circle, and the girls, mostly cheerleaders, stood outside the circle. If a girl winked at a boy, and he winked back. They had to kiss. A beautiful 14-year-old cheerleader winked at me, and I winked back. We have been going steady for 78 years. <laughs> and have been married for 70 years. Her love and support through our life's long adventure together have made this recognition this evening possible. Please join in me in thanking my life's love and partner and world's best winker. On behalf of my wife, my family, and the great Arnold Sports Festival team, thank you for this honor. Now you know why I 